Don't flop street battles. Battling <laughs> in the rain. Let's make some noise. <laughs> yeah. Over here we got, make some noise everybody for Crescendo! Yeah! Shout out Jack! And on the other side make some noise for Conquer B! Who's going first? Who's going first? Conquer! Alright, it's round one on Conquer B, let's go! Put it down! Let me bring some honesty to start this clash with. I don't like spitting bars with spastics. <laughs> but since I sparred with Alex, I decided to recraft my tactics. Soon I'll be on bigger things. Consider yourself target practice. <laughs> Which is fitting. Because ammunition, I've got a spare round or two. So in a round or two, I'll show I didn't come here to clown on you. It's, a, it's astounding you think that you've got a chance of powering through. You're only here because you beg soul to set up your tryout for you. <laughs> no video to send in of his battle bars and that. To try out in this league, you lit to rappers after that. <laughs> and if that ain't proof enough of what a fag you are, it's facts that in Liverpool you met most prob and had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> His bottom lip quivered as he gave him a handshake. Said, hi, my name's Nick, but Crescendo's my rap name. <laughs> Whenever I feel lonely, I let one of your tracks play, and it lets me know that nerds like me can still have a fan base. <laughs> Make no mistake, I'm sure you most and solo mates, but you're their clone on stage. I know your fate because that role you play is getting overplayed. Mm. So although that style's a bold display, we know it ain't your own, so Cray, the only dough you'll make is getting rolled and baked by Tony Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Let's go, go. Your shitty flips will beat me, get fucked queer, that's insanity. You ain't even improved since you come here from the Wacker Leagues. Freeze off your head won't help you win in this battle when I freeze off your head like Sub-Zero's fatality. Oh. Mm. I could say you beg it with all battlers, but that's not fully true. Because I've got a battler in mind that you owe an apology to. <laughs> 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 Because you did an essay on the forum about how Woolsey was shit. Woolsey <laughs> saw it and said he wants to settle this with his fists. That had him shook, he talks the talk but really Nick is a bitch. Because I had to come online and get this kid out of shit. Like ignore these mean people Cray, I got to assure that if you come to an event you won't get clocked in the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a Jack Russell that starts on bigger dogs on a walk because the owner has to get you out the problems you cause. <laughs> now I'm no disaster. I won't get him to stand in my place. But me and Woolsey are cool, and we got a plan for today. Since we're battling outside, he can't get banned from this space. And you've got to or you got away with one too many rants in your day. I think you need to learn there's consequence for acting this way. So once this battle's done, I think you're gonna get banged in the face. <laughs> He'll leave you minced meat, spaghetti leg for putting gas to the flame. Wait. Minced meat, spaghetti, gas to the flame. Hey yo, Woolsey. Yes, sir. That's full of names! <laughs> That's it, right? Time? No. Is that time? Yeah. Woo! Round one. Hold it down. Hold it down. Yo, please, you with me, yeah? Yeah! Yo, bring it up, Will. See, to try and get me shook. You are such a fag. Yeah, I forgot this was a doubles match, you fucking twat. <laughs> so, what's it gonna be, Conker B? Go on for three rounds of, I listen to your music and I went onto Facebook and checked all your messages. <laughs> Every sentence he says is all very generic, follow formulas till he gets to the end of the text as he's prepping. Well that structure won't survive the impact of my craft like September 11th. <laughs> <laughs> Really, bro, you can't expect I'll be threatened when you look like Emma from Tekken and cross with King Henry the Seventh. <laughs> but uh, I can't lie, I am someone that rates him. That Mr. Inglorious battle, fucking amazing. <laughs> what? You think fans watched it because you scheme away his life? People only watching Glorious Fart, that must feel very shite. Because when people skip your eyes to see the fucking guy who said, you're just a wannabe who wants to be one of the wannabes, reassess your life. <laughs> So you won, kinda, by being disarmingly bland, but when the forum gassed you up, you started to act like your bars and your swag were harder than that, seeing Glorious has his supporters, despite being retarded and whack, whereas you just conjure up your own armies of fans like Katana's attacks. Any Anyone who calls himself a Conquer B fan needs to stop being a twat. See, I couldn't do this battle down south. So they put us on during a break. But just because I ain't invading your home country, don't mean I won't leave conquering a state. Mm. See, when Bamalan put me into this matchup, 
I thought I'd give him a chance, so I clicked on his battles. Here's my advice, bro. Ritalin tablets. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if the kid is alright. Because when he's spitting these rhymes, he's doing this all the time, like trying to fondle an invisible pair of tits from behind. And I was practicing that on your bitch just last night. <laughs> but some of your hand gestures are proper strange. Looking like John McCain's gone insane. <laughs> <laughs> on the flyer, I was the one with the llama to blast, but he's the only one waving arms like a spaz. <laughs> Yo, you can never beat me even with your best stuff. Conquer is named after a horse chestnut, a came on your bird's tits and gave your horse chestnut. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> Asperger's. <laughs> Some tinny gun. See, all you Aspie cunts always seem to act differently. In social situations, you can feel the spasticity. <laughs> Those poor kids with autism think their life's tragic, but all you spectrum dwellers seem to have that sly talent. That one thing that makes them go from straight spaz to a. St <laughs> yeah, carry on, carry on. Why did you do that? Say it again! <laughs> Alright, everyone shut up. All you spectrum dwellers seem to have that sly talent. That one thing that makes them go from straight spaz to astounding. Like Susan Boyle with her singing or Rain Man with the counting. Tim, Bur <laughs> Tim Burton's autistic and great classics around him. You're probably good at something, but mate, you haven't yet found it. <laughs> I know you think it's rapping. Oh. And to say you're poor is mean. I know you'll throw a fit because I'm breaking your routine <laughs> But all us normal people know this ain't your sort of scene So try find your calling or die in a waste of your own dreams mm. And there's some bars you ought to stick to But you're far too autistic to <laughs> 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 Anyway, regardless of your mental state, bar for bar you aren't on par, you'll hardly last on centre stage. I'll test your patience with your spectrum placement when the venom's frayed, I'm dead in grey. Accept your fate, my winning streak won't end today. And Earth thinks you're a loser, bruv, he told me yesterday. <laughs> but before you, they gave me three guys and I wrecked them. Consider me the bringer of divine intervention, so try play with me like I am a plectrum. I'll slap you to the other side of the spectrum. Highly offensive, a likely aggression. Hellbound, showing no signs of redemption. He's outside when the Wi Fi to protect him, but soon he'll be back home crying in his bedroom. Because no! you're a stupid, lonely cunt with no life outside of this. It's a hobby, but that's too hard for his Aspie mind to grip. I think Dominic from Inception when I'm describing Nick, because the life he dreams about has compromised the life he lives. I feel kind of bad that I had to murk him with this, but just try and consider your Asperger's a gift. Because if you weren't such an awkward, unlikable cunt, then you might have had a girlfriend to this. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> you wanna diss me for Asperger's? That shit's absurd. She said I haven't found what I'm good at doing. It's your girl. <laughs> Yo, yo, you went in on my ass. You fucking wish. Nah, you went in on my Asperger's. Well, if that's how you choose to test me, then it's true. I've had to work past a lot, and that's the truth I've buried. But I'm standing here battling you on even terms. So you know, uh, if that's your views, that's heavy. Because in many ways, before this battle, I was one nil up on you already. Yo. So I checked out your music. It is dead. Just an insipid blend of different heads who did it best. Yo, I'm bringing those kind of lyrics that'll make you shit the bed, man. You'll be swinging off these bars like Danny Jack Stripper Friend. He used to play. He used to play thrash metal. Just him and some straight dogs. And I used to be in a rock band, but bitch, I don't rate yours. Because every single time that you're beginning to play chords, it sounds like someone disemboweling a pig with a chainsaw. And that is his peak. He took up rap when he realised his band was so weak. Three months later, he's battling me and calling out take notes ox arrogantly, which makes me think you're just like any other tramp that I meet because you can't stick to the rock if you beg it off every man from the streets. Whoa. You want to call out Tox? I don't understand or believe you. You think you're on his level and that's an achievement? I wouldn't really describe that battle as ether. Three basic rounds about clapping the heaters versus three rounds of Ian Curtis having a seizure. Yeah. <laughs> you're a pampered, talentless, Kentish, bitch-made, overpaid, total wasteman. Me, I hit that stone of vapor. Foe's insane, our ghost is faker. You want to call out the big dogs, kill Tox, but if no one rates you, how are you going to strike a chord? You can't even take notes on paper. Mm. 
fact you've had three battles here, but haven't shown any progression or drive beyond my level is quite depressing, all right? All that effort supply never provided any more better with rhymes, so and now he's said to my size he's getting Jefferson Price. Mm. I'll make this event go memento, he'll go mental and die, because he wasted too many shots in too short length of the time, like Sammy Jenkins' wife. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. But he switched from making thrash tunes to rap moves. As soon as this twat proved he's a whack dude, and you want promotion for your crap soon? What good will that do? You travel for ages to don't flop events, which no one thanks you, and you got no defense for wasting all that money. Like, man, you. Fuck, man, you. You got the personality of a commercial pie chart. But no. Yo, shut up! You got the personality of a commercial pie chart with no distinct style. I know you're working quite hard, you showed up with no ID, still getting served by my bars. Time. Jeez! Well done. Yeah. Since you wanted to go toe to toe with me, bro, let's get this show on the road. That inconsistent mix of fast and slow in your flow makes you sound broken and old with a disease that's corroding your bones and your only hope of success is appealing to the cold and alone. And every time you stumble your composure is broken it sounds like your throat could explode after you told every joke that you wrote. Most newcomers are shit but I've broken the mould. It'll take more than token loads of the draw and blowing nose with the smoke for me to not know what I've broke but this cunt's like Kane. Not because he's throwing opponents over the ropes, no. I'll use this flow I've composed to expose him and show well that's an appropriate role that I chose because you're just a overexposed a mediocre clone of your bro with no quotable so you so Calm the fuck down. <laughs> this cunt's like Kane. Not because he's throwing opponents over the ropes, no. I'll use this flow I've composed to expose him and show why that's an appropriate role that I chose. Because you're just a overexposed, a mediocre clone of your bro with no quotable, so your persona's only known for the chokes. Because yeah. we both get nervous and overperform, but my verses are colder than yours. When I pen shit, it feels like I'm going to war, and my flow is the force to make mountains corrode and reform. When you pen shit, you're sat alone in your dorm, hoping to lord your flow as the force to get most problems sold to applaud you. <laughs> and on a paddle, your written's a lacking in vision, but the way you were rackly spit him gives the illusion of passion within him and that's where we're different ah. every time I rap it's a given the fans want to listen because I'm a man of conviction my bars are my mm. own personality in them <laughs> you use this platform you're given so badly you just reenact what you seen from the clashes with your favorite battlers in them oh. you're not a battler you're a tribute act and no shouting's gonna cover up that skill you lack this is a chance to prove you're more than just a kid who raps but it almost seems as though you're trying to misuse that see I hope everything that conquers spits is sitting in you know I bought them Tekken bars to body him and clinch the win in that game is the character mock that's fitting him because each round drew a new member of the roster in a different skin. So stop this facade, Cray, it's overplayed and it's boring. Bitch, you gotta earn that yellow name on the forum. I'm trying to help you, Nick, just put a stop to this now, and you'll only ever be remembered as that knob with the brows. You wanna know something strange? Just the other day when he went on his luncheon break in some cafe, he started drawing pictures of me. That's something I couldn't take. If you're in love with Cray, you should just say, because that is fucking gay, but it makes sense. Conquers the seedy type who hits nuts and swings the other way. <laughs> <laughs> no strings attached. <laughs> he won't even write a battle verse before he's done a draft sketch on his tablet first. He drew pictures of me. That's absurd. Makes me think you've been banging them lips against the pipe more than Flappy Bird. <laughs> but it's not just me he's obsessed with. He's trying to take advantage of any mates I have. A proper rapist bastard. <laughs> Becky Donhue won't fuck you. She thinks you're a blatant faggot. You'd have greater chances changing tactics to creating catfish impersonating lasses just like David Masters. <laughs> Anyway. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker, after this you're gonna wish this match was promo. You're a failure with the women and a pretty massive homo so I'll spray red across this virgin like Richard Branson's logo. Mm. Stop lurking on viewpoint begging for a drops. <laughs> I'm doing it later. <laughs> <laughs> You pathetic fraggle. <laughs> well, it makes sense because he's been begging Bagnall to let him have a demo track on the extra channel. Mm. <laughs> this cocker's <laughs> ready to branch out, come out his shell and smash it. But when our bam inspected man, he didn't have the strength to battle, they didn't want to see that conquer drop, so they just left him hanging. <laughs> Fuck any personal crap you think you have for Nick. I don't have to dig for background shit to have a big advantage prick. He's been digging on the forum like a massive dick, but on a battleship, it ain't plain sailing until he cruise behind you helping you catch the winds, but this battle
battleship ain't plain sailing unless it's cruise behind him. Well, no, with cruise behind, it won't catch the wind. <laughs> but you. But you begged it off the metal scene and got no fans of respect. You begged it off the rappers and the rappers were vexed. You begged it off the f you begged it off my mates and got knocked back like a pest. And then you begged it off the forum and that is just dead. He will scramble and beg any chance he can get. Shit, since when was Anto Murphy middle class and from Kent? <laughs> <laughs> you should never have challenged me. I don't lose battles ever. I'm the huge angry fella with the Bruce Banner temper or that Liu Kang aggression mix of the mm. wood man from Tekken City yeah. 36. Yeah. Shameless in your face like Wu Tang's the Method Man and that new rapping legend like the Two Pack Projection. <laughs> I came to Leeds to leave my spotted target a rotten carcass, blow your world apart. Oster Harkin, Gate Connor Harkins, and Sovereign Guard him, and your ginger. P. Cashmore, shout out Fair Trade Wine. Um, very interesting, a lot closer than I thought it would be. I'm gonna go first round Conquer B, I'm gonna go second round Crescendo, which means the final round goes to, drum roll. Conquer B. So 2 1 Conquer. Okay, so that's a lot more one sided than I thought it would be. Um, I actually thought I gave it 3 0 to Crescendo. Uh, Conquer B had a lot of nice schemes and you know heavy multis, which obviously I love, but uh, I think it was too focused on the multis. I think Crescendo actually came with a lot more. Incisive angles than I thought he would, and uh, yeah, I've got I've got to give it to Crescendo. I thought he uh, he actually destroyed that battle. I, I really do, and I, I really liked Conquer B from his first battle, and I liked him here, but I just thought Crescendo uh, cool. really really killed him every time. Thank you. It's crazy, yeah. Shaq was talking bollocks as usual, but you know, whatever. Fucking two one Conquer B, first two rounds definitely, and then in the third round I thought uh, Crescendo done this thing. The first battle, like he did well Crescendo and that, but he lost two one. See you later. Uh, Yo man at C just charged Conquer B versus Crescendo. I give it two one to Conquer B. Uh, the second and third just broken down better. Hi, Jazz Music, apologies. Um, I'm going to give it to um, Heads and Tails and Crescendo for the three. Alright, don't flop street battles. We just had a sick battle. Uh, the announcement of the winner is 4 1 Conquer B. Make sure you.